This video is brought to you by Cybersalt's Joomla training cohort. Learn to do Joomla the way Cybersalt does Joomla. And MySites.Guru. Do you have a Joomla site? Of course you do. Get a free site audit at MySites.Guru. Are you working on your Joomla site and you notice that the size of the backups that you're doing with, say, Akiba Backup, or some of the testing you're doing in a migration, if you're using Migrate Me 4 or the Staged extension, that the size of your Joomla site is getting bigger and bigger and you're wondering why that's happening? In this video, I'm going to show you a couple of tools that will help you find large files in your Joomla install so that you can try to decide maybe there's something that you can delete. Now, uh, before you do delete anything through either of these methods, uh, what you should do is back up your site and uh, make sure that you have it backed up because if you delete the wrong thing, then you're going to be sorry. And so you have to be very careful doing this. All right, but let's look at the screen here. All right, the first tool I'm going to show you is one in MySites.Guru. Uh, I have an account with MySites.Guru. I use it to manage multiple Joomla sites. And for this particular CyberSalt site here, which I know is an old Joomla site, uh, but was old, it was, it, I had it in Joomla 1, I had it in 2.5, three and now I'm working on getting it ready for four um, I can go to the full audit tour uh, tab here and I'm going to go down to this handy dandy little uh, area here that will show me locate and review files over two megabytes in size so I'm going to go over to the right side here and investigate and right off the bat I know from experience this is only going to show me a hundred files I want to see them all so I'm going to go to the end of the page uh, down here behind my picture, yeah, I'll take it out of the way here, you can see show all. And now I have a list of all the files in that Joomla install that are 2 megabytes and over. Now I've already looked at this and practicing for the video. Just want to point out a couple things. I've got all this folder here, MM4. That is the staging area for the uh, that Migrate Me 4 has made for me testing the Joomla migration. So uh, the Joomla 3 site is fine. Uh, but the, uh, all the files have been copied to migrate me for, for testing that. So uh, for testing the migration to Joomla 4. So I'm going to skip all those folders. You know, to, using these tools, you kind of need, you need a bit of an understanding of the structure of your site and what the files mean. But once we get all these MM4s, let me show you just a couple of things that I found. Uh, here's a bunch of log files uh, from comacym. Now I know that's uh, ACY mailing. It's keeping track of uh, statistics as emails go out or people click on things and so I've got log files from the uh, from here from November of 2022 and over here other oh, seven megabytes or 11 megabytes that's good but here I notice whoa 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 wait a second I've got logs going back to 2020 so uh, I, I'm gonna make a note to go in and change the uh, stati the statistic collection in ACY mailing and dump some of these older logs. I won't delete them here. I could delete them just by hitting uh, uh, this trash here, but I'm going to go in and change the settings and then they'll be removed. Uh, another thing that I noticed down here, well down here, is I have a file that uh, is 136 megabytes in size. It's a log file, um, but it's for in Akiba Backup. So that's uh, maybe I'm going to check and see if uh, I can delete that or in the automatic rotation of a key, but maybe that'll disappear, but it's something I want to watch out for. Maybe it's being forgotten and orphaned after all this time, I can see. One other thing I'll point out to you is this, and then I'll show you the other method, uh, is uh, look at this, I got content drives traffic. I was surprised to see these files because that's actually an old Joomla site that uh, I had forgotten about that I had in this web space in a subfolder, which is a bad practice, by the way. But uh, now, uh, in this case, I'm not going to delete this file here because I these are just showing the big ones. I'm going to go see if that whole site is there. And the next tool that I'm going to show you uh, is in in my web host and control panel is going to do just that. So let's check that out. Okay, now here is the web host and control panel for my uh, for that very same account. I have cPanel on my server, that the hosting for my clients, and so I'm using that for my own site. The tool I want to show you is this. In the file area, and maybe your file area may be in a different place here, but you want to click on disk usage. Now, in disk usage, uh, what you will see two areas on this page. This is going to look at where all how, how your the disk space in your hosting is being used, and where all the files are distributed, and what their sizes are. So, after it calculates things, 
At the top here, we can see location and how much is being uh, used. And this is just showing all of the, only one uh, one folder level in the root of your hosting account. All right. Uh, but if you scroll down bit further, you will see here's a place where you can sort by directories, by name, or by disk usage. I'm going to sort by disk usage, which means that the folders with the uh, the using with using up the largest space in your hosting will appear at the top. Now I have a whole bunch of other things happening here. Like here's a subdomain that has a site in it. This site is in this subdomain. But look, here's public HTML. I know that that is the folder where my this main Joomla site, cybersalt.org is. Now, it's got 5.8 uh, gigabytes. All right, I wonder if there's any files in here that I can remove. We're going to click on this arrow, and now at the top we'll see, oh, there's that MM4, MM4 folder. I'm just ignoring that because that's the staging area for the Joomla 4 uh, migration I'm testing. But then here's images, and I think to myself, huh, Images, there's a gigabyte of images. I wonder if there's something that's a little too large in there or that I've forgotten about. Maybe a zip file that I've uploaded and uh, and uh, extracted images from it and I forgot to remove the uh, zip file. I'm gonna click on there and see. And we've got, well, here's article images, back pew, I know those are cartoons. And I can look down and even just looking at article images, um, no, I think this looks fine. All right, so I've got a lot of images. There's 16,000 pages on that site. Now, media. Oh, I don't really put things in media. Let's just check in here because there's 545 megabytes. Oh, look, com ACY mailing. Now, remember, we found those files uh, in the previous method with mysites.guru. Here, we can look in here and we'll see. Oh, look, there's a logs folder. Now, if I click on logs, it's actually going to open up the file manager in, in control panel, in C panel. And now here's those log files that we were talking about from uh, 2020, 09, 010. Now these are the, the oldest ones at the top. So I can say this would be another way to discover that you want to uh, maybe go in and change ACY mailing so that these log files get purged and you're only keeping a year's worth. You're going to gain a bunch of space there. All right, click. We will go back. And now we can look down here. Uh, that took logs. The rest, I'm not gonna worry about. Let's close media and we'll look administrator. Now, sometimes administrator will have, if uh, if you're using a Kiba backup, it's going to have um, your backup files stored in, administ in administrator components, a Kiba backup, backup, I think. And so, you know, just because there's a large file in your hosting doesn't mean you should delete it, which is why Make sure that you back up your site in case you delete something accidentally. Uh, but here we go. Hey man, here we got administrator and logs. And oh, for SEO, a 245 megabyte log. Oh, okay. Let's go into here. Oh, errors. Oh, okay. There's a big error log somewhere. So I'm going to click on that. And in that folder, I will see, oh, I've got some log errors that the extension for SEO, which helps me to check if uh, how my pages look in social media for SEO extension. But I look over here, this is going back to July of 2021. Oh, there's some things that I can delete from here or remove. And actually, when I get scrolling down to the bottom, just from looking before, well, in fact, even at the top of this uh, column, that sort by size, put the biggest at the top. Wow, for uh, October the 6th, um, there was a, there's 156 megabytes. So something was not working that day. Something for me to check into. And then uh, I know in that extension, I can purge the logs. Now, remember, if we close this, remember I was surprised to see that I have this content drives traffic uh, folder here, 276 megabytes. I am going to click on that. And look, here's a whole uh, Joomla install inside of that folder. And I, this is this site does not work anymore. You know, it's possible that you have a Joomla site in a subfolder. It's not the best practice because it adds to your backup and 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 different things like that. Backup size. Um, if so, if you're if you're working with someone else's site and you see, oh, there's another Joomla site here, I'll just delete it. No, not necessarily. But I know for sure that this site. Uh, I don't have it anymore. And so uh, what I'm going to do is uh, I'm just going to delete it. I'm going to go up one level 
so I can view everything. Here we go, content drives traffic. I'm gonna right click on that and I'm going to just delete it and I'm gonna skip the trash. I know I don't want that site anymore. All right, it's an old site, I can just forget about it. All right, so that has been removed and I have now saved 278. This will refresh the next time I load the page. And basically that's how you can use this tool. So be super careful using both of these methods. Just because there's a big file in your Joomla install doesn't mean that you should just delete it, but they are tools that will help you find maybe files or even in this case, entire websites, uh, Joomla installs and subfolders that you forgot about. Uh, that will save file space. That's gonna make your Keepa backup smaller when you're, uh, if you're using uh, Migrate Me 4 or Stage It for uh, working on versions of sites without affecting your live site, you're gonna have less files copied. And it's also going to help, and especially if you, have a, if you have web hosting that is slow, this is gonna take some of the load off of those big copying processes, okay? So subscribe for more videos. Until the next time, enjoy your Joomla sites, and God bless.